This is the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. In my opinion, this motherboard is changing the game with some brand new features that not a lot of people know about. Hi, this is Z-Rock on Tech, and today we're talking about my favorite features of the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Pro Wi-Fi. All right, today we're talking about this guy right here, the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. Now, Asus did send me this motherboard a few months ago, and I have dropped the ball on getting this video out, and I do apologize to that to everyone. I apologize to Asus, and and I apologize to my community because you guys know that I've had this in my possession and some of you have been waiting for this video. So again, my apologies. Now, we're here, so let's talk about it. Now, while it's true that Asus did send me out the motherboard, they did not pay me to talk about it, so this is not a sponsored review or anything like that. All thoughts and opinions are truly my own. Now, with that being said, some of you might think it's a sponsored video simply just because I don't really have a lot of negative things to say about the motherboard. Sure, I can sit there and look at it, I can nitpick it and say it's not for me and here's why, but I have to remember, this motherboard is not meant for me. I am not the target audience of this motherboard. I am a high-end, experienced, enthusiast-level PC builder. This motherboard is really DIY-friendly, or as I like to say, noob-friendly. And that's gonna become apparent to you once we start talking about some of the really cool features this motherboard has to offer. I've been using it in my test bench for the last couple of months, and it's been a great, rock-solid motherboard. All the recent AMD GPU videos I've done, the 7900 XT, 7900 GRE, and all of that stuff, all of that was done with this motherboard. So even though it's not necessarily meant for me per se in terms of the target audience, I definitely used it and it was a great experience. But now let me share with you some of my favorite features of the motherboard and tell you why I like them so much. And I just wanna encourage any motherboard manufacturer that may be watching, it's time to step up your game a little bit because some of these features, in my opinion, are just no brainers. And Asus, I have some ideas to take it a step further, so Listen up. Okay, so the first feature I really want to point out here is the PCIe slot Q release. Now, this feature is not technically new per se. Asus launched it a little while back, but it is now available on this tough gaming motherboard. And so they're bringing it to the lower end boards. Whereas before, I think it was only available on the ROG Strix boards. It was definitely considered a higher end feature, but now even the lower end boards are getting it. And let me tell you why I love this feature. In case you don't know what this is, it is basically you push a button, and your GPU comes out. And you might think, okay, what's the big deal? I'll tell you what the big deal is. Primarily as a GPU reviewer, I use a lot of GPUs. I am constantly installing and uninstalling GPUs all the time. Let me tell you, this button makes it so much faster, easier, and frankly, safer to install and uninstall GPUs. I have a motherboard called the Asus ROG Strix X570E Gaming Motherboard. It is an AM4 motherboard, and I love that motherboard. It has been very good to me. However, after so many years of usage and installing and uninstalling different GPUs, I have officially broken the PCIe switch on that board and so true story scouts honor now anytime i use that motherboard if i put a gpu in there the only way i get it out is with a safety pin i have to put this in there and i have to wiggle it around and finally after about 15 or 20 seconds of you know finagling it i can get the gpu out I don't like that. It's a hassle, it's annoying. I wish that motherboard had this button all those years ago, but it didn't. But you know what, it's here now. I love this feature, it's awesome. It should be a standard on every motherboard and I will stand by that. So this motherboard has the Q release button and it's great because you can now get it on the Tough Gaming instead of the higher end boards and you can save yourself the money. This motherboard, the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Pro Wi-Fi has smart detection of your RAM. And so it is smart enough to tell you when you haven't installed the RAM or if you've installed it incorrectly. Let me demonstrate. So on the screen right now, you're looking at the motherboard and there's no power to the motherboard. Then I add power to the motherboard and you can see this orange light comes on. As you can see, there's no RAM installed in any of the slots. So that is a clear indication that, hey, you're missing RAM. Now you might say, well, dude, come on, man. I mean, how many people are gonna do that, right? Fair, not the greatest, not the greatest example. So let me take it a step further further for you. Now I took some RAM and I installed it into a dim slot and I properly seated it, but the light is still on. Why? Well, because that dim slot is not appropriate for booting. As you may or may not know, there are certain slots you're supposed to use on the motherboards in order to properly install your RAM and get the system up and running properly. You can't just use any slot you want, especially if you're only using one stick. And so that's exactly what's happening here. I properly seated this RAM into the dim slot, but yet the light is still on. 
time. So that tells me it's either the wrong slot or it's not properly seated. That is an awesome feature. I love it simply because it is an easy way to know there is a problem with your system before you even hit the power button. That's amazing. And again, I think it's a no brainer. And again, I think every motherboard manufacturer should start to adopt this. Now, Asus, I got an idea to take it one step further. What you could do is take those LED lights and put one above each individual dim slot so that it tells you specifically this dim slot has a problem. Because let's say you install four RAM sticks here and three are properly seated and one is not. Well, that light's gonna go on and it may not be obvious exactly which one is properly seated and which one isn't. So now you're gonna have to go through and check all four slots. Okay, is that properly seated? Is that properly seated? Whereas if you had the same light, the same smart detection functionality above each one of the slots, now you would very easily know, oh, slot three, there's a problem with that. Let me take it out, put it back in, or let me push a little harder. So that's my little idea to make this a little bit better. But overall, I love the technology. It is phenomenal. And great job seriously great job and by the way if you take my idea i don't know maybe just call the board the e-rock edition or something i don't know and next up we got another q q antenna i like this feature it's not game changing or anything but it is pretty cool so instead of having to screw in the antenna like we've had to do all these years you now just push it in pull it out push it in and pull it out it's easier and it's faster not much else to say about it but that's pretty cool hey fun fact by the way if you've ever wondered why asus uses you you know the standalone antenna where you move it around versus like some other motherboard manufacturers you actually you know screw the antenna into the back and it's just kind of like bunny ears the reason why because i asked asus this i was kind of curious about it the reason why is because asus says this gives you the flexibility to move the antenna wherever you want it so if you're getting a better signal over here for your wi-fi you can move the antenna over there as opposed with the bunny ears you're kind of you know static so just a little fyi on that also an armory crate there's supposed to be some type of frequency detection where it will help you find the best position to put the antenna in so that you could get the best Wi-Fi signal. And that's something that's available within Armory Crate. It is something that you'll have access to with this motherboard as well. Also, of course, you'll have access to it with other Asus motherboards, but you know, just wanted to put it out there. And another cool feature about the motherboard is that it has not one, not two, not three, but four M.2 slides. And they all have that Q-latch feature that basically everyone's talking about these days. You know, you put the M.2 in and you slide the latch over it locks it into place so you can put the heat sink back on top and it just makes it so much easier to install the m.2 slide again not something that's brand new and never been done before plenty of other motherboards are now using this but this motherboard has it and it's another quality of life feature that just makes pc building so much easier so that's awesome and i wanted to point that out as well okay i talked about some of my favorite features but Really, let me talk about the motherboard in general because it is a Z790 motherboard and you might be wondering, what does that mean? Okay, what's the difference between Z790 and Z690? Well, the main difference is RAM speed. That's really about it. Now, some motherboard manufacturers take it a step further and they choose to do refinements. For example, this Asus Tough Gaming motherboard is actually a refresh of a previous motherboard. The previous motherboard version was the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi, but this one is the Asus Tough Gaming Z90 Pro Wi-Fi. Now, the main difference between the two boards is obviously the RAM speed. So the Pro Wi-Fi can handle up to 7,800 megahertz officially, although whenever I check the memory compatibility list over on Asus's website, they actually claim to have ran an 8,000 megahertz kit on the board successfully. So 7,800 to 8,000 megahertz, somewhere in that ballpark, I guess. But the point is, it's a lot faster than the previous version of the board. And that is the main difference between Z790 and Z690. But again, there are other refinements. And so with this board, you get access to AI overclocking, you get access to the Q features like the Q antenna, for example, and Asus updated the USB type C front panel connector to now be 20 gigabits per second, as opposed to 10 gigabits per second. And that allows for up to 30 30 watts of fast charging. That's pretty cool, all on this board. So that's awesome. Additionally, this motherboard supports the LGA 1700 socket. So that means it supports Intel 12th gen, 13th gen, and now the 14th generation of Intel CPUs. So it doesn't matter where you fall there, this motherboard will support that. Now, one other thing about this motherboard and Asus really made sure to point this out, I think they're pretty proud of it, is that you can install an RTX 4090 and still access 
your bottom row of M.2 slots. And I tested this myself with my RTX 4090. JJ, we'll just pretend this is an Asus 4090 here. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so anyway, as you can see, you know, full access there, no problems at all whatsoever. So there you go. So if you like stuff like that, that's pretty cool. Again, this motherboard just keeps coming back to convenience, convenience, convenience. And that's why I don't have a lot of negative things to say about it because I mean, who doesn't like an easier PC building process or an easier PC maintenance process? And this is one of those things where it makes it easier to maintain your PC. If you need to get to the bottom row there to access one of those M.2 slots, you don't have to take out your GPU. That's pretty awesome. Obviously it's a motherboard, so we have to talk about the IO and I probably should have talked about this sooner. It does have an integrated IO shield, which I do appreciate. I can't stand standalone IO shield. So massive props to Asus for that on this one. If you look at the IO, we have one HDMI port, one display port, four USB five gigabit per second ports and two USB 10 gigabit per second ports, a 2.5 gigabit LAN from Intel, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, one USB 20 gigabit per second port. You got your audio jack, and there is an optical port here to give you that digital signal. So that's pretty awesome. Lots of connectivity options there. I can't really think of something that I would personally need to connect to that I couldn't with this motherboard. And if you say Thunderbolt 4, actually there is a USB 4 header or a Thunderbolt header on this motherboard so that you could use an adapter or whatever you need to connect to the motherboard to get that Thunderbolt support if you really wanted it. And now I wanna finish up by talking about the software features. Honestly, in my opinion, Asus has the best buy BIOS or you know UEFI whatever you want to call it in my opinion they have the best but you know that is subjective depending on how you want to look at it but a couple of quick things I want to point out if you hit F5 that will load optimized defaults if you hit F9 that will allow you to quickly search anything within the BIOS if you hit F10 that will save the changes and reboot so those are a couple of quick hot keys in case you didn't know that also you can plug in a USB drive to your motherboard go into your BIOS and hit F12 and it will save a high resolution screenshot to your USB drive so if you're trying to troubleshoot something or if you're trying to share settings with someone that is a much better option than taking a picture with your phone so just fyi on all of that okay these hotkeys are not exclusive to this motherboard this is just something you get basically on every asus motherboard within their uefi bio so just wanted to share that information. Now let's talk a little bit more about this motherboard specifically. So this motherboard does offer edge lighting, which can be controlled with the Aurora Sync functionality that Asus provides. Additionally, the Aurora Sync functionality works with a wide variety of different devices that have RGB lighting. So for example, there's a couple of different RAM kits you can buy that don't have their own software, but they are compatible with other motherboard software. And Aurora Sync is one of those pieces of software that will work with those RAM kits. By the way, speaking of RAM kits, and I totally forgot to mention this before, but this motherboard supports AEMP2, and that stands for ASUS Enhanced Memory Profile. Believe it or not, you can actually buy RAM kits that do not have an XMP profile or an AMD Expo profile or any other type of overclocking profile. Basically, you buy the RAM and it's new, modern, current, all the things that will be compatible with your latest and greatest motherboard, but it doesn't have any type of overclocking profile on it. If you buy a RAM kit like that, and oftentimes you would do that to save money, you can now use Asus Enhanced Memory Profile or AEMP. And what this will do is that the motherboard will auto overclock the RAM for you. I watched JJ from Asus perform a live demonstration of this for me. And he took a kit that was like 5,200 megahertz, 5,600 megahertz by default, something like that. I took it up to about 6,800 megahertz with this. That was pretty awesome. So just so you know, if you buy this motherboard, that's a feature you get. That's really cool. Cool. And again, it's not just this motherboard that has that. I mean, other Asus motherboards have it, but again, they're higher end boards, ROG boards, they cost more money. So this is a good way to kind of save some money and get some high quality features. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is AI. It's 2024, everybody and their mom is talking about AI. If you're not talking about AI, you kind of feel like you got left behind or something. And yes, Asus has AI features built into their BIOS. They have AI overclocking, and believe it or not, they even have AI cooling. And you might be like, hey, what? 
what is AI cooling? Essentially, have you ever been in a situation where you're thinking to yourself, man, you know, I really want good thermals, but I hate how loud and how noisy my fans get. Well, that's what AI cooling is for. AI cooling will evaluate your system and it will find the best balance between noise and thermal performance and all at the push of a button. And AI overclocking is something I briefly covered before in the Asus Tough Gaming 360 AIO video, but I will talk about it again today. So basically AI overclocking is exactly what it sounds like. It will use Asus's algorithm to calculate how good of a CPU you have, how good of a cooler you have, and then kind of guesstimate how far it can push the clock speeds on each individual core. And here's a demonstration on screen using Intel's extreme tuning utility software. As you can see, here are the clock speeds before AI overclocking, and here are the clock speeds after AI overclocking. Now, it's very important to understand that these are targeted speeds, which means you are not guaranteed to get these speeds all the time. It means that the AI algorithm will attempt to push your CPU to those speeds, and it's what the AI algorithm thinks it can get. So, you know, in lighter workloads, you might hit those speeds, but in heavier workloads, you won't, but it does work. Here is a side-by-side -side benchmark of Cyberpunk 2077 with a built-in benchmark in the game running at 1080p ultra settings, no ray tracing. On the left is no AI overclocking. On the right is AI overclocking. And as you can see, the 14700K is clocking 300 megahertz higher. Is it hitting what the AI algorithm predicted it could hit? No, it's not hitting six gigahertz, but man, it's definitely faster than it was. There's technically a couple of other smaller features that I could talk about and I could turn this into a 25 minute video, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I just want to point out the fact that I think this motherboard is awesome for the targeted audience. Look, if you're watching this and you know, you're an extreme overclocker and you have a three, $4,000 PC and you know all about this stuff, then you're probably not too impressed with this, right? But if you're on console and you're looking to come over to PC gaming, or you've only built you know, a PC or two in your entire life and you were a little bit intimidated by it, I think features like this make the PC gaming experience better all the way around. At the push of a button, you can fine tune you know, your cooling performance. At the push of a button, you can overclock your CPU and get better gaming performance. At the push of a button, you can pull out your GPU and pop it back in. And the list goes on and on. Uh, even the Wi-Fi antenna is a push in and a pull out. I mean, it can't really get much simpler than this. So I just gotta give massive props to Asus. And again, I know this Kind of sounds like a fanboy video or like I'm gushing or whatever. There are a couple of things about the motherboard I would like to see done differently. For example, there is no BIOS flashback on the motherboard. And I understand they have to find a way to kind of differentiate between all the different levels of boards, but I love the BIOS flashback feature personally. And after having it on basically all of my ROG Strix boards for so many years now, it feels kind of weird not having it on this one. So I missed that. Also, Asus does offer a built-in memory tester on their Intel motherboards only. It's not something they offer for AMD, but they do offer it for Intel. But unfortunately, that built-in memory tester is not available on this motherboard, but it is available on my Z690 ROG Maximus Hero board. So it would have been cool to have that memory tester built in here as well. And now finally, to talk about the price of the motherboard, the MSRP is $280. And you may or may not think that's expensive. I mean, there are motherboards going all the way up to $1,200 these days. So it really just kind of depends on how you look at it. I do think you get a lot of quality of life features, a lot of convenience features for that price. Obviously, the longer you wait, the cheaper the board will become. If you have a micro center in your area, you can check for open boxes. My micro center had this motherboard open box for $139.96. And I think we can all agree that's a pretty good deal. So again, it really just kind of depends on how you look at it. The motherboard is packed with a lot of convenience features, a lot of quality of life features, and I'm a big fan of that. And in addition to that, in case you didn't know, JJ from Asus goes live on the Asus North America YouTube channel almost every single Friday to talk about Asus products. And the name of the show is called the PC DIY Show. He says a lot of the same stuff that I just said, and you can actually get more information about Z790 motherboards in that one live stream that I have linked down below in the description. In that video, he demonstrates the AEMP features. He talks about AI overclocking. He also talks about the block diagram of the Z790 motherboards. This video is from five months ago. I recently found it. And so I figured I would share it with you guys. And if you made it to the end of the video, that's a little treat for you there. But yeah, that's a good place to go to hang out and learn more information about Asus products. You can ask him questions directly. 
it's all good stuff. So anyway, down below in the description if you're interested. Hey, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the motherboard? Are you interested in these features? Do you find them a little bit gimmicky? And what other features would you like to see on more motherboards like this? I look forward to talking to you down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're new, get subscribed. And until next time, E-Rock out.